this is Victor. I'm here with the part two on the painting of um, Radokar, the wolf. And now we are going to do um, the. We are going to start doing the black. So we are going to do the fin finalize the world, doing the highlights on the different parts. So I'm going to start using um, grays, uh, downstone here, administratum gray, and I will also use this one, scaven um, light ding. And with these colors, what we are going to do, we are going to highlight the black part. So let me do this one here. So first I like to apply scaven blight ding in case I need even to clean up. I also have Corvus black on my wet palette in case it's needed. Okay. So if you here we go. Here I will put very little. This part is very high then, so I will not do too much highlight there. I realize that I miss one button, but it's not going to be the end of the wall. I will do it later on. Okay, I will do for the or something like that. And I will do second highlight there. Okay. No one taking administratum. No, sorry, not mix them down stone. And I will do the edge like that. And like that. Try to not cover fully. So you you want to go next to the the, the previous grain, but you don't want to cover it completely. I will do this one. And here, I will do this, so I can pop up this detail there. And finally, I go for the administratum. Now it's the administratum. Before it was downstone. And the administratum is going to be even less parts. You can see just a touch here and there to do this. Okay, no more. I'm going to use the same technique to do the boots. Okay, so here in the boots you can see I have the, the, the color went lighter, so I will even go directly in some places with with the administrator. I will leave a lighter color so it's looking more they're looking more weathered old Like that. And now I'm taking Kevin Bright, Kevin Blight, sorry. And I'm putting this one here. And I will use again scaven blight. Like that. 
Okay, and I will do the other boot in the same way and I'm back for the next step. Okay, the way uh, is done and now I'm going to use Ragar Flesh and we are going to paint the beer. Okay, we are going to highlight the beer. I will leave it in this. Very pale color. Okay. Next, I'm going to use um, we'll use XV88. And I will do the weathering on the belt. Okay. We take XV88. And I do it like that. I do the edge going down. And we are going to I know it's very striking. But then we are going to glaze on top to make it, it less visible. Okay, you can see the two different damages. I will do some like that there. Okay, and I will do the same on the dagger. Okay, and what we are going to do next, I'm going to use while well, this is doing Auric Armor Gold, and we are going to highlight the golden parts. I want one at least to make them a little bit more, a little bit brighter. I will do one the sword. I will touch here the ones I missed. The rivet that I miss. Now I will do as well the arm. So I do I apply this in all the gold to make it pop up a little bit more. Okay, so I do that and I'm back. Okay, so uh, next step I'm going to use now that the um, the browns are dry. I'm going to use a snake, a snake by leather, and we're going to put this 
over the we are going to thin it down and we go over the bell. This will make this weathering less stark and more integrated. Just a little bit like that. Now I'm going to work on the wolf. To work on the wolf, we are going to use uh, the next color. So I'm going to use white. Okay, school white. 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 Yeah, well, that's the school white from. I just found this spot. I think this spot. And I'm going to use as well this one. No, this color. Sorry, no. The one I was looking. Sorry. This one. Way here. I need to buy a new pot of clay here. What I see. But I have enough for what I need now. Okay, we are going to put some water inside. Always have a clean. Okay, with this dry. And I'm going to use as well an administrator grey. Okay. And with these colors, we are going to do the highlights on the wolf. So I'm going to start with the grey seer. The grey seer, I think, is going to be the main, um, the color that we'll use the most. And we are going to alternate to the other ones depending on the intensity. Ah, and I also need, because I need to paint inside the scarves. And I will not go for right inside the scarves. I will go for, I would think, like a brown color. So I will use this one. Okay. XV8 will do, but I think this one is more, a little bit darker, will make more sense. We put in some water to thin it down. Okay. And we take our good brush to put it somewhere here. Okay, I lost my good brush. No. Here it is. Okay, let's just start with the scars using the brown inside. This is a that animal in principle, so it shouldn't be right inside. Like that. And now I will do as well the nose. And the nose I will apply um black okay I will apply this one corbus black on the nose We will do, I will do one wolf and you can imagine that the other wolf will be done in the same way. Now we start applying first the vase here. Okay, and then next to the cat I will use the white. Okay. 
going to use that. Go back to GUIs here. On the teeth, I will go with the white. And on the mouth, do it first the fangs, the teeth. The, on the mouth, we'll take some black. And do like that. I will not do the eyes. Because if he's dead, imagine the eyes are closed. We're going to start highlighting the fur. First, with the voice here. Then we do extra highlight with the white. Okay. This is going to take some time. So we go back to the four. No. Like that. And to add some texture in the mouth, in the muzzle, like that. Okay. 
Let's we'll keep working. Okay. And like that we do we look the all the wolf. So just partially we highlight the full of this miniature. No. Okay, so we'll keep working the wolf like that and I'm back once it's done. Okay, so this code is looking like now the wolf pelt. And what we can do, we can take a little bit of noon oil, very thin, so you want to even maybe thin it a little bit more, we'll take some water with the brush. And we're going to add some additional shade in some parts. Okay, so you can add like you can see, I will follow here, for example, this part. You want to go little by little. Adding a little bit more depth. Here, for example, is a little bit flat. I will add a little bit more like that. Okay. And I will even glaze over the leg to make it a little bit darker. I will add a little bit here to make this part darker as well. We can add some more glaze on this part. Like a little bit of glaze. I want to make this a little bit dark, especially here. Okay. We can also add some. You can see I'm, I'm going very dilute. So I can uh, it's more like a glaze than really like a wash. Okay. So I go quite thin, just to, and now I will add some more to create the shade. I will do the same in the mouth, in the teeth. Okay, to add, this will add definition to the teeth. We'll do the same on the other head. So. Thin it down. I'm just thinning down with water. Okay, and then spreading it nicely. So we have A 
tüm şeyler. And now I will add as well on the head to make it a little bit darker. Here I'm, I'm just applying like a wash. Just the places where you think some additional shade would add. Some in, yeah, make the miniature more interesting. Create some depth in some parts. Give a little bit more volume. You can see that now it's winning more shadows, more shades, more contrast. Making it popping up the volume a little bit, what we are looking for. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to use I'm going to use um, that cloud brown with one on the sword to make a little bit of oxide. down okay let's put here this now I'm going to take real sky Height like that. We make the sword kind of um, almost brown, right? I will take a little more of the rim's height to light there. 
they want to make it rusted because it's quite damaged this sword you can see into this and take no that clown okay and now I will wait that all these devices here okay I will wait that all these devices before doing the next step I will also do let me just do one last thing I will take the Rhinos height I will add a little bit more on the armor plates okay especially the parts that are more hidden to be sure they are I'm doing the part the decision to the trousers. But I want to give the, the again the sensation of dirty. Here I will use it almost as a polish. We want to give the sensation of dirtiness on old. Okay, I will I'll wait a little bit at all these lights and I'm back for the next step. Next step on Radocar, we are going to do the, um, the hat. Now first I will do a dry brushing on the sword, okay? Because the hat is still a little bit humid and the, other, and the sword is dry. So I'm going to use Iron Breaker. We take a brush, a soft brush. It can be quite big because this is not many things that are in the way of the... Right, and check how much I have, then I go from the edge to the back of the sword, like that. Okay, I do the same on the other side. for okay and now I will take a thin brush scratches So random for the most exposed the parts are the easier is to have a scratch. Okay, I'm going to the other side as well. Especially the tip. Okay. I 
like that. Okay. Now I will use more from brown and death cloud brown. Okay. You can also use this black brown if you want. So I'm going to use these two colors. And I will do the hat. So first I will start with more from brown. And it's going to be a technique very similar to what we use with the wolf fur. Start popping up all this. Hair, hair, head, head, hat, sorry. And I will. I will just make it pop up like that. Then we can take a little bit of the clown. We can add a little more on the tip. So you want to keep choosing these things, manual one, patiently, then we'll give better finishing than the eye brushing. And if you make a mistake, I always have Linux height next to me to clean up any mess. Let's clown. No, I think I need to put some water on the move from brown is to the right. I will keep working the rest of the head like that and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this code looks like now that we have done the head. And just to finalize, we are going to do some fine touches on the base because I was forgetting about these vines that are there. I will dem them in brown, so I will use no um, vein blade brown, the color that we have used in a lot of. One of because I'm using a lot. We'll thin it down just a little bit because it's okay. Made wet palette is dry. Gets dry very easily. Okay. Let's take some water to thin down the bend with brown. And we are going to add some here in the roots, on the vines. I don't know what is this really, but I would add that. 
and then I will put Agoth air shade. To darken a little bit because was a little bit too too light. And I don't want the vines to pop up. I just want them to have the nice. And now, yeah, this is not part of the tutorial, but I will just do it here on camera because you can see that this is done. I will use bale tang to add some green on the rocks to add some add some variety, some. So I can add, for example, here a little bit. I can add it as well between the rocks there. So the wind will go naturally between the rocks. There can be moss going up, small lichens. You don't need to put it everywhere, I just put it in some places randomly. Okay, here, for example, because you, you don't want all the rocks to look the same boring way. You want some add some color. Then I will use a brown. In that case, I will not use a wash. I will use a thin paint. And I also will add some brown. I think done a little more. Some other parts. Okay. And then we are in the core city. It's time to add some blood. It even with the brown, so I'll blood a little bit more blood there. I thin it down. And now we'll just dry and that's all. So I think I will finalize here this tutorial. Um, just this is Radokar, uh, the wolf. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give a like if that is the case. Share this thing with people come interested in as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.